there are multiple ways and a lot of different options on how you can create new project in Asana. One way is to click the plus button and select new project. This brings up the wizard and you can choose either to create a blank project, use a template or import a spreadsheet. What is important here is that even though creation of the new project seems like a very simple task in Asana, there are a lot of considerations when you're doing the work. For example, if you choose to use template, you will be presented with a variety of different templates. And each one of these templates is designed for different types of projects. If you will choose option to import a spreadsheet, you would need to define the tasks ahead of time and format them in a format that will be understood by Asana. For the purposes of this demo though, we will just choose and go ahead and create a blank project. But as you can imagine, even for this simple option, there are a lot of different considerations. Specifically, you need to have a good understanding of your project's privacy levels. Is this something everybody on the team should be able to see? Or is it just for you? Or maybe it is somewhere in between. Another important consideration is how would you like to see your project? As you can see, Asana provides four different views. One view is the list. Another view is the board. Another view is the timeline. And then there's a calendar view. Do you have a preference? something for you to decide and choose the right choice for your particular project. And last but not least selection you need to make is about project's metadata. And the big question here is how are you going to name your project? The project name should be clear and descriptive. For example, in my case, I am going to create a new project and I'm going to call it how to build new e-commerce store. I will make this project public to product. And what this means is this is the concept created by Asana, making it public to everybody who has access to the system. Or if you would like to keep data just for yourself, you can select private to project members. I'm going to select the list view because this is the type of view that works best for me and then click create project. Keep in mind that even after you created a new project, you can switch between different views right here among Asana tabs. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful and helped you to solve your challenge. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this, and we will make sure to deliver it to you in the future. Also, please make sure to check out our free and premium resources on the website. All you need to do is to go to the menu section and select appropriate options. In addition, make sure you don't forget to look at the downloads in the description section of this video. I also recommend that you follow online training for everyone. We are constantly delivering new content to help you solve different problems and challenges. And I also have a favor to ask. If you know someone who would benefit from this content, please make sure to share this video with your friends or colleagues to help them solve their challenges. Make sure to leave your questions or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your journey. Thanks for watching.